You know, one question I get asked a lot is, and I don't know why I'm asked this because I've never really considered it, is am I more of a defensive person or an offensive person? In other words, am I more pacifist or am I more of the kind of person who would act first, think later, I guess you could say. Well, despite the fact that I have one of these on hand, I am actually pacifist, defensive. That's literally the only time I use this other than food. Yeah. And that is actually what I'm talking about in this video. I wanted to introduce this knife in some kind of way that at least didn't seem out of the blue, but this knife bought at uh, Blade HQ's website or Grindworks, um, same company, different name, um, I guess you could say. Bought this for about 250 bucks, I believe. Yeah. Prior to tax, I should say. 250 prior to tax. And it's come in good uses. I have held it as a defensive item. That's actually why it's pretty dang clean. But at the same time, this, more often than not, is actually used as, I guess, either a cutting knife or a butter knife for food. Uh, since I use my room for mainly everything, like... For heaven's sake, there's there's a piece, there's a loaf of bread literally just right here on the desk. <laughs> so, and that's like one of the things where that lamp is, it's sitting on top of kind of a mini dresser thing, since I don't need a lot of clothes where I live. Uh, that There's like a red thing you can see, it's a cup, and then over there there's also a bunch of different food items as well. Kind of scattered across the room trying to organize it at least. Those food items, I would use this to help, like, cut a sandwich in half, or spread butter, or peanut butter, or jelly, or jam, or whatever you spread on those things. Um, I'll use this to help, if I'm making burgers, which sometimes I do, I'll sometimes think, I don't think I've done it yet, but I have considered like using it to like kind of scrape it off the bottom if I'm out of butter or spray at the time. They've all been thoughts. That doesn't particularly mean anything's gone on though. No. Anyway, yeah, I, did, I don't know. People do find it weird. And since I've talked about it already, then why did I get it in the first place? This knife has a story, my friends. It's my ex, it's where my ex um, used to work. I don't hold grudges against people given a certain amount of time. I'll admit sometimes I do. This is one good thing to me, at least, that came out of it, because before this, I didn't really have any kind of defensive items. That's how certain I was that I could just take care of myself. I've never really gotten into any legitimate fights that have gone both ways before. Closest to that that I've ever come is somebody trying to attack me, but others got him off like that, so. The kid was autistic, he didn't really know what he was doing, so. I'm not counting that anyway. I don't know. This knife is definitely used for anything other than what you would think it would be. Heck, I don't even use it to, like, throw. If, if I had a throwing knife, it would not be this one. It would not be this one. This knife is, I will admit, this knife is something special to me. It's symbolic to a person that one of my exes used to be, who I've just felt like isn't anymore. It's symbolic of the people, it, it reminds me of the kind of person I want in my life. Sharp. Like the knife itself, very, like, I'm not even moving my fingers across because that's how sharp it is. Start moving it and it can create a slit. Which, again, because I didn't move it, it didn't. Um, when you use it, it's firm. You can't just simply shut the dang thing. It's locked, so it knows exactly where it needs to be when it's there something that nobody in my life, give or take a couple of people, have ever really known. Well, more than a couple. 
but a rare amount of people. But I don't know. I, f I guess in the long run, outside of that, this knife is useful for multiple things, and I kind of like it when I have someone with me, a friend, girlfriend, family member, who can focus on multiple different things. I learned it from my dad, and I kind of like it in other people, and so far, everyone I've... Every friend or relative of sorts that I've ever had, or anybody in a relationship that of any kind that I'm in right now with, is pretty much described in the same way I just described that knife. So, in a way, this knife is meaningful to me more than I talk about a lot. But I guess that's really all there is to this. Knife, the knife is symbolic. Let's leave it at that. This knife is very symbolic. I, I don't know. For some reason, it came to my mind to talk about this kind of thing. But, eh, that's all there is to it. That's all she wrote, I suppose. So I'm going to leave that there. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about different kind of aspects of myself, or I'll discuss random topics, do rants on different things, and there'll be the rare occasion of me doing something stupid, or doing skits, humor skits. Which, by the way, for those who are asking, one of those is in the works, as I mentioned before. We're getting closer, we're just kind of in a hiccup point. I guess you could call it writer's block, creator's block, call it creator's block, until we figure things out. Christian, Aaron, and I will get to it as soon as we can, but for the time, we are also... We've also got some IRL stuff that we're going through at the moment. One way or the other, I am going to leave this here. So thanks again for watching this video, guys. Um, if you want to check out any more content that is specifically directed towards this channel, uh, live like this, click the links on the side of my head, and one of them will take you to a list of random topics that I talk about. The other one will talk about me and myself in some different ways. Really like this kind of stuff, you want to see more, and you're really into seeing more of it, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I upload one of these type of videos once every day, along a gaming one, whether hack and slash, RPG, whatever you want to call it, as long as it's nostalgic in some kind of way. In the meantime, though, thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you in another one. Bye for now.